Hello and welcome back to my channel, Pitch and Porch. My name is Michaela. Um, it's been a really long time since I've done a video, partly because I've been in Chicago on my trip, and then I got sick right on the very last day, so I just haven't really been in a mood to do any recordings for you. But I'm finally getting this video up and out for you all, and it's mostly going to be some artwork from Chicago. Unfortunately, I didn't really record my artwork very much while I was actually in the city of Chicago. Um, I was just focusing on being in a moment and being in Chicago and drawing my art there and not worrying about recording it. And I figured I'd be able to show you guys after I got back home and show you some more of the drawings that I would be continuing to draw from those photos that I took in Chicago. By the way, that very first clip that had my sketchbook in it was actually, <clears throat> excuse me, the very last page of that sketchbook I was trying to finish, the one I was working on so hard every day to get it so I could finish it in Chicago and get a new one. So that one's finished, and so there'll be a sketchbook tour on that soon-ish, we'll see. And this is actually, these are going to be like the first couple of pages of my new sketchbook that I got there. This one here that I'm currently working in is a Talon's Art Creation sketchbook. It's 80 sheets and um, it looks like it's 94 pounds or 140 GMs per page and it's acid free material. I think the size is a 13 by 21 centimeter or also a 5 ish by 8 ish inch notebook. And um, I'm actually really enjoying it so far. I was kind of worried that like the pages wouldn't really be able to handle the paint gouache that I really like to use, um, but it's actually been taking it very well. I mean, yes, the pages do warp a little bit, but it's not bleeding through, and um, yeah, it's not bleeding through. It does um, kind of pill up though if I rub the paper too much with my brush or when it's wet, so that is a little bit of an issue. But other than that, it actually takes the paint a lot better than I was expecting. I actually have um, some markers that I got in Chicago also. And um, they're the Koi watercolor coloring brush pens. And um, surprisingly enough, those are the ones that kind of bleed through so far. Um, if you like do like three layers of color, um, it that you can kind of see a little bit of shadow and bleed through on it. But so far, I've really been liking this notebook, sketchbook, and I've just really enjoyed the paper on it, too. Also, this is my very first, I believe, I'm pretty sure, my very first, like, actually hard-bound and, um, like, sewn-together notebook. Not, like, um spiral bound and I don't really count the one that I was using before because those pages were meant to be taken out so this is my very first intact hard bound <coughs> excuse me hard bound book that I've used and so we'll see how I like using that I generally do like to use spiral notebooks just because I can flip it over and like fold it so it's half the size that this one would be I believe this is like the third or fourth page spread into the sketchbook. I don't necessarily plan on showing you the ones before until a sketchbook tour unless you guys are really enthusiastic about seeing those and want to hear more about like the places and things that we did in Chicago. Um, if, you are, if you are interested in that, go ahead and tell me in the comments so I can consider doing that for a video. Both Shin and I had a really great time in Chicago. I think we felt like that we did spend our time pretty well figuring out what to do and not really wasting too much of it. Um, one thing that I was super excited about doing for this trip was the art and um, I think I may have overpacked my art stuff. Um, I had brought my regular pens and pencils that I use. I brought my colored pencils and my paints. And I really tried to like keep it down to a minimum. But I think next time that I would honestly just bring a pencil, my colored pencils, and maybe the paints, but not necessarily the paints. Because we had actually ended up getting art supplies while we were there. Um, we had gone to Blick Art Store 
and oh my gosh i love that store if you have one near you guys i would highly recommend going there they have so so much stuff and if you're really into art it's, it's just heaven there but we had decided to get some of what i was talking about earlier the koi watercolor brush pins and we really like those a whole bunch um shin wants to like learn more about how to use colors together and he figured that like that would be a quick easy way to get it down and they're also a material that i like to use so we decided to get those and then i already knew that i was looking for a new sketchbook and so the thing is i had brought the sketchbook i was working on and then i brought a new sketchbook that i had with me had already had um, just in case I didn't find a sketchbook um, in Chicago, but obvious, obviously I did. So I actually had bought um, two new sketchbooks. Um, one of them was the Fabrino 1246 sketchbook, I believe. It's the one that I was, um, the very first one I was working on in this channel, which I really, really like. It was a mixed media, so I, I had to buy it again, of course. And then I got this one for fun because I was thinking about getting one of these off Amazon, but um, I just hadn't, and I figured, well, here I am right now. It's right here. I'll buy that, too. But I ended up with, like, four sketchbooks. Um, one, two, yeah, four sketchbooks in my suitcase, and then a whole bunch of art things that I kind of wasn't using, and so I, kind of, I felt like I definitely overpacked my art things. But that's okay, better safe than sorry, I guess. I will say though, Shin and I had to do a whole bunch of walking um, because we had to walk to the bus stations, or we had to walk to the above ground subways, or just like different places around town because we um, didn't we didn't drive to Chicago we took the train so we didn't have a car of our own and we couldn't really we didn't want to use Uber very much um, so we had our bags and every time that we went out I put like all the art stuff in making sure I had what I thought that I would be using um, and it was it was heavy guys um, you'd be surprised what two pencil bags in a sketchbook adds up to and weight on your shoulder. Um, so I guess we got really good shoulder workouts at least um, from that. But next time, I definitely think that I'll be able to pack less. Ooh, um, on this screen, oh, you can see me adjusting it all, but on this screen you can see that I have like some receipts on there. That is, in my opinion, that's a really good way to kind of fill up some of your empty spaces um, or cover up mistakes or just keep memories from your trips or anything special. Um, I like to put receipts or tags or tickets that I get from places when I go traveling into my sketchbook um, because I like to, I'm very sentimental and I like to have those kinds of things and the best place so they're not like in the way is in the sketchbook in my opinion so and I think it just adds to kind of like an artistic collage -y sort of type feel I don't know I like it I recommend it um you'll see that in more of my pages probably yes also um you can see me take um gluing this piece of paper in above there um you don't know you guys do not know how many times i was writing something like a <coughs> sorry excuse me um like the place's name and i spelt it wrong you don't know how many times i did that and most of the times i was able to fix it but this one um we had gone to the planetarium it was the um the adler planetarium and first of all i spelled adler wrong i think i spelled it alder instead and then I was starting to write planetarium and it came out plant instead of planet and this was like by this point of the trip it was like the fifth thing that I had misspelled um it was really frustrating guys I'm not great at spelling but this is this was just an insult 
Um, but I, I just covered it up and did it again, and then I ran out of space. But that's okay. That that makes it unique and gives it character. Yes. <laughs> Side note. Um, I don't know if I show it later in a video, but I am actually looking at this page right now, and the um, the writing that I did right now, I actually covered that up again. <laughs> again um because i guess i didn't like the fact that i ran out of space and i rewrote it for the third time and this one turned out well so also not just um putting in like receipts and tickets and stuff but like write down the places that you go if you think they're really cool um it's another way to artistically fill up space and it gives you some something different to look at you know um it's not just all drawings you have a little bit of word and commentary in there um you'll see that a lot in these first couple of pages that i've done and i think that it just gave it it helps me remember like where i went because we went to a lot of places um but it also just gives it a little kind of like um just some unique design um like it helps with like figuring out how to add new elements into your art i guess i don't know i recommend it though i think that um some of my favorite things that we did in chicago um were okay let's start off with like the more touristy thing um the architecture boat ride um they have lots of offers lots and lots of different places that do those i don't really know which one that we did i think it might have been like the shoreline one um but this is where you get in on a, get in on a boat obviously and you um ride down up and down the river in chicago and you'll have a tour guide who talks about the architecture and different buildings and a little bit about the history in the buildings and the history of the river um i thought it was really neat um specific excuse me specifically because we did it at night. I've been on the tour before in the morning, in the daytime, and I was also a lot younger when I went on it, so it wasn't as interesting. But um, going at night, as long as it's not too cold, it did get kind of cold when we were there, but um, it's so beautiful. The lights of the building is just really nice. It's a very... Um, it was just very beautiful to see, especially if you're not used to um, big cities and you're like more of a smaller town person. It just puts a really beautiful spin on a big bustling city that might not always be glorious during the daytime. So I would highly recommend people if they happen to be going to Chicago to do that at night. And there's also fewer people at night too there were it was like maybe eight groups that was on the boat with us and it can probably hold 20 to 30 groups so a lot fewer people <clears throat> and um um my other favorite thing that we did was on the first day we had gone to chinatown so if you guys swing by chinatown there is this bakery there there's actually lots of bakeries there, but we went to this first one. I don't remember what it's called. I'll try to find it. I'm not sure if I will be able to. I don't think I saved that receipt. Um, but their food, it was a Chinese bakery if I didn't say that earlier. The food they had there was so good. Um, they had, we had gotten some like egg custard buns and they're kind of like steam buns with egg custard in them. Um, so kind of like a sort of like pudding but better um <laughs> and shin had gotten some pork buns and we got some moon cakes because the chinese moon festival was happening soon so the place was so good that we actually ended up going back there again before we left um to get some more um a custard buns and pork buns and to bring some mooncakes home for our family because they were that good. And also, the mooncakes there weren't that expensive. Normally, you can buy a box of like 20 for like 40 to 50 dollars, maybe 60. They're really expensive, guys. 
but um, you bought these individually. And there were about a dollar or two, I don't really remember. But they were really worth the price for only wanting to get a part of a box. So like, um, because my family isn't exactly wild about mooncakes, but they do like them. So I didn't want to like buy them like 20 of them. So if we bought them two each, and it was perfect for them because they were able to experience what we got to experience, but not be overwhelmed by how sweet they were. As wonderful as traveling can be, and how like idealistic it can be, sometimes things don't always go the way that you planned. Um, this definitely happened to us on, I think it was the second full day that we were there. Um, we were getting ready to go to the museum, and the one that I had booked, um, was the Science and Industry Museum, <clears throat> and, um, Shin was navigating for us, so we, um, are trying to figure out the bus route, and so we hop on the bus, and it's the right bus, and we are, we've been on it for about 20 minutes, Shin looks at his phone again to see how much further we have um, until we need to get off. And we're further away from <laughs> the museum that we were supposed to than we, we were supposed to be. We were going in the wrong direction, guys. Um, and by the time that we had noticed, um, we were in a sketchy part of town. It was not it was definitely not the best part of town to be in um yeah so we got off the bus and we had to wait there um maybe 10 15 minutes but there was this group of men of course it was a group of men <laughs> um maybe a block away from us and they didn't ever come over and bother us but they were doing some really weird loud stuff down there and it was just we were both kind of like, God, I, I really hope you don't come this direction. Um, stay over there. Um, but the the bus finally came, and we got onto that. And so we had rode all the way back to where we started, and um, we were supposed to. St we were, we were on the right bus, so we stayed on it, and we got to the museum campus. And you have to do some walking, of course. Um, and we walked about 12 minutes, I think, to the museum campus after we got off. We were going in the right direction, and we got off at the right station. Okay, it's 9, and we were supposed to be here around 9.30 is when I booked our time. Um, and so we were walking, and we see signs to the museum campus. And we follow those signs, and we keep going, and we see more signs that say museum campus. And we come up to the field museum, and we're like, yes, we made it. And we go inside, and a lady tells us, if you have a city pass, get in this line. And that's what we, we did our trip through. Um, and we got into that line. And so we get to the lady who is taking our tickets. And I show her what I was sent from city pass to show the museum people. And she scans it, and it didn't work. And I was kind of thinking, that's a little odd. Um, and that should be the tickets that we reserved. And she said, are you using City Pass or Go City? And we said, City Pass. So she said, you actually use the QR code that they send you. And it's like, okay. And so I was, I was still kind of thinking, like, that doesn't quite sound right. I thought these were the actual tickets. Um, but Shen pulls up the QR codes for them to scan, and they scan them, and they give, them our they give us our tickets. And then I'm, and then two seconds after we walk away from the booth, I say, Shen, is this a science and industry museum? And he looks at me and he says, no, this is the field museum. And I look at him and I say, our tickets were for the Science and Industry Museum. <laughs> and we both kind of look at each other for a little bit in confusion. 
and um <laughs> gosh and so um we decided to tell the people like hey this wasn't the museum you we were trying to get to um can we refund our tickets and they said um that they can tell um that they um that if we call city pass we have to call them and say that we didn't use this pass um and refund it through them but they will tell them that like no they did not come to this attraction and so we were like okay um let's figure that out so we called city pass very nice lady helps us and she says well um i have to make sure this is authorizable i need to get authorization to refund you this and so we end up we weren't really sure how long it was going to be until she would call us back so we sat there for 40 minutes we sat in the lobby of this museum and the security people are probably eyeballing us because it's strange for people to just be sitting in the lobby um of their museum <laughs> um for 40 minutes um but she calls us back eventually and she says okay um she was able to refund it and what we would actually do is call them on the day that we were supposed to go to the other place that we were saving that for and um they would get us new tickets i was like okay that's fine by this time we had um it was probably about 11 oh, wow yeah probably about 11 um, maybe a little earlier than that, maybe 10.30, <clears throat> but the Science and Industry Museum is five miles south of this museum, so we have to find the right bus and wait for it to take us to that museum, and, um, <clears throat> and so we do that, and we finally, we finally get to the Science and Industry Museum. We were supposed to be there at 9.30 when they opened, and when we got there, it, it was 12 o'clock, and it kind of felt like a waste of a morning that we did, um, but fortunately, we didn't have any more issues or mix-up like this. We didn't have to figure things out anymore. Um, after this, things were very smooth, which was good. And the kind of kicker to this story is um we actually did end up going to the other museum it wasn't in like our bundle um but we decided to go ahead and pay for it and go to that museum and we both really enjoyed both of the museums there after that frustrating morning though and after finishing seeing the museum we decided to extra treat ourselves to a fancy meal and we went back to Chinatown and had some very delicious food there so and had gotten some bubble tea and walked around a little bit so that not so great morning turned out to be a pretty okay day. Overall I really really enjoyed Chicago and um, I would really definitely consider living there, not for like a long time, but like live in the outskirts of Chicago for like a year, where like I'm far, far enough away from the main city where that doesn't really affect me. But I can still very easily get onto a train or a bus and go into downtown area and have a shopping day or just like go out to eat or something i don't know i would i think i'd really enjoy that um i don't live in a very big town so it would definitely be a nice change of pace i think but i know for sure that i got some really good new memories of chicago um i had been there before when i was a little kid um actually twice but I don't really remember anything from then. So it's really nice to have made new memories that I will remember and with someone that I love very much. Um, yes, I had a really good time there. And I think that's going to be about it for this video. I do plan on doing at least one more drawing video and talking about Chicago. 
um, drawing and talking about Chicago, and, um, yeah, I think that might be the next one, maybe it might be Inktober, not really sure, we'll see, but thank you for staying and hearing my stories that I've had, and I hope I see you guys in the next video, bye!